I thought I'd show you a few examples of how easy it is to add some digital headshot backgrounds using the new Avoto software. So here we have a few example images. These are just from Adobe Stock and uh, feel free to look them up if you want to try and um, try these uh, techniques on your own, but it's super simple to do. So once you're here in the Avoto software, you open up the image in which you want to add a digital headshot background to, and you'll see that there's some different options here. There's some uh, global basic color adjustments, there's your portrait section where you can do various portrait retouching. Um, but right now we're going to look at this section here, which is called background adjustments. And so by clicking on background adjustments, you can see that there's several options. You can clean solid backdrops. You can remove color banding. You can use AI enhancement to just kind of enhance and make the background pop a little bit. Um, but we're interested in this section here, which is called the Headshot Backdrop Changer. In that, you'll find that there's two tabs. Uh, there's the Recommended and there's My Backdrops. Within the Recommended section, there are a lot of preset options, including removing the background entirely and giving you a transparent background. There's white gray, um, a fabric background, and some various colors. So we are actually going to toggle over to my backdrops and within here you can upload any backdrops you want uh, that you have that you'd like to use to swap out the background of your headshots. So let's pretend for example she is, uh, she could be uh, anything here. She could be a real estate agent, maybe a stay at home mom or a vlogger or maybe an interior designer. So we're going to go ahead, I've pre-uploaded a few different options, but here we have um, a kitchen he uh, headshot background from the Imaginator Studio. And we're just going to click on that and Avoto is going to drop that in to behind our subject. It's automatically made a selection around our subject and put the background, background in here. Now, we want to look at this and think, okay, is the perspective correct in here? And one of the things that we can do once we've added our backdrop is we can change the size of the backdrop so that um, we can maybe bring that more into alignment with the, the size of our subject. And we can also shift it up and down using the vertical adjustment slider and left and right. So you're just going to play around with that until you get a composition that looks realistic and matches that of the perspective of your subject. And I think that looks pretty good. And so we can just go ahead and we can save that and we can export it out in uh, into our computer and then send that off to our client. Uh, so that's the first example. Next, let's switch over our next example here. So this is a fellow, he's leaning against a kind of nondescript concrete uh, wall or background um, in the existing stock photo. And maybe we'd like to give him more of a studio look. So we're going to look here at this background I've already uploaded. And this is uh, from, again, the Imaginator Studio, and it's one of our studio headshot backgrounds. And it just gives that kind of uh, hand-painted canvas or, or muslin backdrop that you would normally see within a, uh, a photo studio setting. And um, our size of that background is pretty good. It matches. Um, you can also um, swap that out if you wanted to choose anything else. Our next image here is this fellow here. He looks like uh, in this existing background or stock image, he looks like he's maybe a home baker, or chef, something like that. Maybe we want to drop him into a bakery environment. Um, so he's, he's working at the bakery. Um, and here we have the Imaginator Studio Bakery Headshot Background from uh, the Bakery Headshot Background Collection. This is uh, background number five from that collection. And we can see that it's done a fairly reasonable job at extracting our subject, 
matching him to the background and again if we wanted to we can pay, play around with our perspective and size of that background we can if we wanted to change the opacity of that background make it lighter or darker this isn't really going to work for this image because it's going to blend it with that other kitchen and just kind of cause a confusing composition but uh, that's something that you can do and you can also play with this edge adjustment which is going to toggle if you look around here it's going to kind of shrink the subject mask that it automatically made and it'll get rid of some of uh, those fuzzy edges around his hair and whatnot so to give it a little bit of a better blending situation with the background so there we have that example and then finally let's have a look at this athlete he looks like he's wearing um, maybe a soccer jersey here so let's go ahead and we'll import a background here so these ones were already pre-uploaded but i'll show you here you just simply if you want to import a background that you have perhaps stored on your computer you hit the plus sign you navigate within your computer to the folder where you store your backgrounds and in this case we are going to be looking for our sports backgrounds this is the imaginator studio cinematic sports headshot backgrounds and we have a bunch of choices here again looks like he has a soccer jersey on so we are going to choose maybe this one here which is a soccer stadium you can either do double click or just click once say open that's going to bring that sports background here into our library within a photo and we're just going to simply click on that and once again we are going to change the size of that background so it kind of matches the perspective of our subject if we like we can toggle our edge adjustments here and that's just going to shrink the mask around um, and you can also go into this little I don't know I guess it's a little bit like a pencil type icon here within the headshot backdrop changer and when you click that it will actually bring up the mask that it generated and you can go ahead and you can use your brush adjustment here to either add to the background or subtract from that background mask you can change the hardness or softness of that brush and you can change uh, the opacity of the brush as well and then if you wanted to uh, refine that background you just simply brush around the areas where you wanted to either add or subtract from the mask and you know here we're just we'd be adding to it if we we wanted to add extra area obviously that's really not what we want to do in this scenario because it did do an excellent job of creating that mask for us so we're simply going to cancel out but i just wanted to show you there's that option where you can adjust your mask if you're not happy with the automatic selection that a photo has made so there you have it you have uh, four examples there um, that show you how easy it is to swap out your backgrounds uh, using Evoto and their headshot backdrop changer tool.